afternoon. Please stand and join in the opening song, Come Holy Ghost. Come Holy Ghost, create a blast, and in our hearts take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou Welcome back, everybody. It's great to see you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be always with you. And with your spirit. As we prepare ourselves for this celebration of the great solemnity of Pentecost, let us call to mind our sins and the wonders of our God. Lord Jesus, you promised we would not be orphans. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you prepare us to receive your life-giving spirit. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give your spirit as our comforter and our advocate. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your Let us pray. O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast sanctify your whole church in every people and nation, 
pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth and with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more the hearts of believers through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time came for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At the sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded and in amazement. They asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. 
There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God, who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we are all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Those sins you forgive are forgiven them, and those sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Good afternoon, Church. Good afternoon, Father. And again, welcome back. Welcome home. It's good to see all of you. It's nice to have a congregation to preach to and celebrate Mass with. It's really, really wonderful. Thank you also for tuning in to our recorded Masses during the week. I hope that was of some communion and consolation to you as we walk through this this pandemic and continue to walk through uh, this time of, of testing, this time where, like the disciples and Mary locked in the upper room, this can be a time of fear as it was for them. They were so locked into that room for fear that the religious authorities were going to dispatch them next. The one who they had followed for such a long time, this one who was Jesus and Lord, had been taken away from them, tortured and killed. And they were pretty sure they were next. So out of fear, they were locked into that upper room. And what happened in the midst of their fear happens in the midst of our own confusion and fear when we don't know what's coming next. What happened with them is that despite the doors being locked because of their fear, Jesus stood in their midst and he breathed on them and he said, peace be with you. Banish this fear. Peace be with you. May that be ours as well, 
Jesus' message continues even in these days of pandemic, these days of fear and confusion. Peace be with you. Peace reign in your heart. And he breathed on them and said, as the Father sends me, I send you. I send you to bring glad tidings to the poor. I send you to bring peace to those who are in anguish about life. I send you to pray for peace in places where there is violence. And we certainly are seeing a lot of that throughout our country these days. Lots of violence. So peace be with you. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven. Whose sins you retain are retained, he says to his disciples. And it is our mission as well to forgive. To forgive people or a people or a leader that may lead us in places we don't want to go. But forgiveness, light, peace be with you. Peace be with you on this Pentecost. Peace be with you as we journey with each other through this time of testing, confusion, pain, but there's also been some amazing creative things that have come out of this. Peace be with you. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we listen to the Spirit crying within us, we present our petitions to God. Our response is, come Holy Spirit, hear our prayers. For all entrusted with the Word of God, for preachers and presbyters, pastors and parents, we pray to the Lord. Come Holy Spirit, hear our prayer. For first responders, nurses and doctors, postal workers and sanitation workers, for teachers and parents, for all who put their lives on the line during this, this coronavirus pandemic, we pray to the Lord. Come, Holy Spirit, hear our prayer. For print and broadcast journalists, for all who strive to provide truthful information in the media, we pray to the Lord. Come, Holy Spirit, hear our prayer. For the faithful of all nations, for all those who share Christ's good news in varied languages, we pray to the Lord. Come, Come Holy Spirit, Hear our prayer. For the peace and justice of the Holy Spirit to come upon our cities and our country, we pray to the Lord. Come, come, Holy Spirit, hear our prayer. For those about to receive the sacraments of initiation, 
baptism, confirmation, and Holy Eucharist on the Feast of Corpus Christi. We pray to the Lord. Come, Holy Spirit, hear our prayer. For the sick, for those in prisons, and for those in any kind of need, we pray to the Lord. Come, Holy Spirit, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, especially Mark Olson, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Come, Holy Spirit, hear our prayer. For the prayers we make in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Come, Holy Spirit, hear our prayer. Father, Creator, you send your Spirit with gifts for each of us. In that same Spirit, we ask you to hear the prayers we offer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the church came to birth, open to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, 
my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. Let us pray. Please stand. O oh God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. <clears throat> 